Yeah, the Dino is an absolute unit. I've uh, been playing this thing a lot, and I, I gotta say, I, I am enjoying it more than the Rex, actually. Um, I have another Dino video out there where I said I might be liking this more than the Rex, and I really do. This thing is definitely the most dominant Apex in the game. Um, the reason I never really played it before a lot was because it was so restricted to the waters and stuff, but um, this fracturing lunge, man, the range on it, you see I got I nailed this bars way out there. Um, this guy was in the other pond and I think he realized there at the last second he shouldn't have been third partying the same species, so he turned around. That was good on him. That could have been a bad situation. Um, but, I mean, I you saw the fracturing lunge I just did on that bars and it was a pretty a pretty good range on it and these a lot of a lot of people don't expect anybody to be in these ponds here or they don't expect a dino I should say to be in the ponds and um, that bars got away I, I didn't charge a bone break I was a bit distracted by that other dino that came flying out so I, I should have done my bone break earlier but this guy thinks he's safe and they're not the the lunge on this thing is nasty so I'm just going to continue to stock them. They think they've gotten away and I'm back in the water hole and I'm not going to be able to get them. But these dinos are not to be messed around with. I mean, if you're if you're anywhere near them, near water, I would be very very careful because um, they they have a lot of health and they do a lot of damage. And watch this lunge here. I mean, I can jump from pool to pool and do a flying bone break on you. And this guy's, it's over. I mean, they thought they were safe down there. There's no way I could have got to them. But as you can see, uh, not the case. It's, uh, it's definitely an amazing dinosaur, <laughs> this Dino. You are restricted to some water, but, um, you know, if you've got some water sources nearby, uh, there's really not much that can stop you, you know. I even have chased Rexes across Savannah and killed them after I was able to ambush them. Um, the, the Rex can't stop them. The only other thing that really is a big threat is two Sarcos in, a, in the water because they're so much faster than you, they can get in and out and kill you. Uh, but I just get out on land and fight them on land and then um, you know, a Rex on land is somewhat of a threat and two Gigas on land, but I mean, you're a, you're a Dino, so you're going to be in and around water most of the time anyways. But even on land, um, I've, I've had Gigas try to get me, um, I've, I've been killed by a Rex on land before, uh, a couple of Gigas got kind of close, but I was able to get down into the water. Um, but if you stand and if you stand and fight with that pivot leg that it has now, you can really turn and, and exchange a lot of damage um, for and, and do more damage, do more DPS, even in a giga fight with two gigas. Um, a couple of experienced gigas catching you on land is going to be a problem. You'll probably die. But that's about the only really the only thing. Even a Rex catching me on land, the only one that killed me was like I said, the one that got me. I wasn't expecting it, and they ambushed me from behind. So. They were able to get like two or three bites on me before I could get the uh, pivot leg, you know, turned on and um, or procked. And uh, I also was kind of inexperienced at the time as well. And I think I, if that happened again, I think I'd win. And I did start that fight off a little bit, not not totally full health. It was a little bit low at the beginning, but yeah. So there's really no other. The, the biggest threat really is another Dino in a pond. Um, or two Sarcos in, a, in water. Those are the two things that you got to worry about. And another Dino in a pond, the only time it's a threat is if it if it ambushes you. I mean, if it gets the first hit on you, you're going to be in trouble. But they've got a lot of different setups on them. You can use, if you've got like the, the speed swim speed hide and the swim speed tail, even if they ambush you in the water, you have a chance to get another Dino if it doesn't have that same setup. If it's got the land setup and it's slower in the water, you might be able to overcome that. Uh, but um, two Sarcos in the water will get you if they're good. You just go on land for that. Other than that, there's really no threats to this thing. And it's got a lot of options. Um, here I was going to go get that Rex. I really like fighting Rexes on this because uh, they usually are overconfident and they think they can do something, but they can't. 
and uh, but this guy came over and started drinking right before I was about to ambush that other Rex. The Rex was in a good spot there. I couldn't get him from there, so I was kind of waiting for him to move and go down to the shoreline. And uh, then these Metries came up and decided to take a drink, so I was hungry. I was really, really hungry, as you can see, so I just went for the easier target and get ambushed the Metries. But, I mean, if you get that fracturing lunge on anything mid-tier, just like I did right there, then there's nothing they can do. There's literally nothing. They stand no chance at all. If you get that fracturing lunge and a bone break, it um, doesn't matter. I don't care if there's 10 metries there. You're going to kill the one that you hit before they can do anything to you. Um, there's really no point in even using clamp. Clamp's fun, kind of a novelty. It's fun to pull something in the water or whatever, but you're limited with clamp. And with bone break and fracturing lunge, it doesn't matter if it's a Bars or a Dino or a Rex, it, a Giga, it doesn't matter. You, you can kill everything in the game with fracturing lunge and with bone break. So I just keep that on. There's no sense really in uh, putting clamp on, unless you just want to play around with it and have fun. Um, the Dino, Dino versus Dino thing is a little tricky. Like I saw this Dino coming up right here and I'm hungry, so I'm just gonna ambush him. There's no chance. If I get the first hit like that, then I already know I've got this one in a Dino v Dino. Um, it, it, it's, it's just, it just comes down to, you know, bite after bite and he's not gonna be able to get away. I got the first hit on him, so I'm gonna get the kill shot. It, you have to be very good or get very lucky to overcome something like that. And so I kind of wish that they would create a rule that Dinos can't other, hunt other Dinos because they have that rule for Rexes. And I don't know, I, I, it's, I go back and forth on it. Sometimes I wish that they had it, but other times I just say, you know, I guess there's got to be something to stave the, the Dino population. You know, you don't want a ton of Dinos around, so if you can let them hunt each other, then you might as well, <clears throat> you know. That'll be another thing that can help stave the Dino population. But then if they're going to do that, then I think they should let Rexes hunt other Rexes for the same reason. Because there's far more Rexes around than there are Dinos. You see three, four Rexes in every POI, you know, popular POIs. People always complain about it. So you might as well make the rule that Rexes can hunt Rexes because that would help with that situation. But um, the Dinos, I, I just kind of feel like they should tarry each other because there can only be one in a water source anyways. So if they can hunt, then really the one that gets the ambush is going to be the winner. And there's, there's no, it just, the other one has no contest. So um, I, I don't like hunting other Dinos, but I started doing it like that because um, I've, it's happened to me too many times where I try to tarry and then they just hunt and they hit me before I'm ready and it's over with. So I have to, if that rule is going to be in place, I've got to take the advantage. Um, I had this clip in one of my other videos, but I had to put it in again because it just really highlights the fracturing lunge. Just like I jumped out of those pools in hot springs um, and got from one pool to the other one and, and got those bars, you can also jump up rocks like this. Like I, I launch it right here at the edge and it goes all the way up there. Hits that guy while he's laying down up on a rock. Totally thought he was safe and even then you're not safe. That's the that's the fracturing lunge. So, yeah, uh, this thing is a powerhouse. Uh, it's definitely my favorite thing right now in the game to play. Um, I, Rex is still got a really you know I gotta say Rex is still it, it, maybe it's tied. I don't know. I'm really really torn on this because Rex is my favorite. I just love playing the Rex. It's just that the state of the game right now. There's Rexes everywhere like literally everywhere and there's a lot of good giga players out there right now and um i even got 1v1 by a giga player the other day uh who was the best i've ever seen and he was very good at tail riding me and i could not land a bone break and that's what it comes down to in the rex v giga but um the dino is is uh man it's a lot of fun that the ambush that you can get on it the fracturing lunge the all the toolkits that it has too you can put the dry legs on and be faster on land when you're dry or you can put the wet scales on and be faster on land when you're wet you can do a swim setup a land setup you can put tail whack on there for the smaller stuff it's just a really really good dinosaur and a really fun fun thing to play right now and i'm really really enjoying it um, this this pond was in Savannah, or I should say is in Savannah, and uh, but the in Arizona the uh, moderators put rocks in there now so the dinos can't really ambush it from anymore from it anymore. Um, I don't know, you know the thing is is that it's 
Savannah is a real hot spot right now, and the moderators and people, other people, were complaining about it being too hot, and the moderators were telling people to spread out of the map and all that. Um, and but then they put the rocks in the pond. I mean, if they if they leave that pond open and there's a Dino in there, then that's one more thing to deter people from coming to Savannah. And those other two puddles or three puddles are always zero percent anyways. So if people start figuring out that Savannah isn't a good water source, which it's really not. I mean, the, the water there is zero percent most of the time. So why even you know go there? Um, I think people will figure it out in time. And uh, if they let Dinos be in this pond right here to ambush like this, then that's just another thing that'll keep people from coming to Savannah. I mean, I think there'll still be plenty of people in Savannah, it just wouldn't be such a hot spot. So it's kind of, you know, I don't know, it's a bit um, curious that they, they complain about too many people being there, but then they do stuff like put rocks in the pond that makes it even more attractive for players to come to. But um, like I was saying, th these Dinos, they can even chase Rexes down. This Rex, I mean, he thinks he's going to, he thinks he has a chance, and they do not have a single chance. It's, it's, it, it's not even close. I mean, look at my health. This thing, he's popping deep rumble now. It, it just doesn't even matter. It's, 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 it's not even a close fight. I can ambush anything I want to, really, and kill it. Um, it's an amazing, <laughs> it's really an amazing dinosaur. So um, they can, they can use that lunge from even in a really really shallow pool uh, one of those pools in savannah can even float the dino to where it can use that fracturing lunge so it's a very very versatile dinosaur it's not as restricted as people think um, and uh, you know, it's, uh, it's just amazing really um, you got to be very careful around water, especially if you're any, like I said, any, look at these mid-tiers. I mean, there's, they stand zero, zero chance. So, anyway, I just wanted to highlight that. Uh, I think, I think the Dino is my favorite right now. I uh, think, you know, if you wanted to try it, you'd enjoy it as well. So, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, please like and comment. Let me know what you think. Is the Dino OP or what? Alright, hope to see you out there in Gondola. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.